Um, today I'm gonna get back on trail. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous because my legs are hurting pretty bad on the right. I think if I'm diagnosing myself correctly according to Dr. Google, I think I have lateral uh, shin splints just on the right side from um, too much supination on my foot. It actually looks a lot better than it did, um, so I'm just going to be a little bit careful on it. And then um, my blister on my, my toe is healed, so it's good. Quit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm at about 21 pounds with uh, food and water. I got about 9 pounds on you. Got my water. Okay. Uh, I'm already really out of breath, and that's how far I've gone. <laughs> All right, so let's see how these new shoes treat me today. Hopefully it goes good. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not um, stepping like that. And probably my pain will go numb, I would think, after a couple miles. So, so I made it to the top of Rocky Mountain. Um, my leg's doing pretty good. I've been really intentional with, with every step I'm taking. So I weighed myself at the hostel and I gained 10 pounds, which is insane. Um, I do feel like I look a little bit more swollen, but I did the math and I, I would have to be eating an excess of 3,500 calories a day in addition to like everything I'm burning. And I, I, um, I think on like a really big eating day like yesterday when I ate that big old burger and salad I'm thinking maybe at worst I'm uh, eating like I don't know 3,000 calories I, I guess that that meal is probably like 2,000 calories alone um, but on like any other day I'm eating about 1,800 calories maybe maybe 2,200 so I'm thinking it's just swelling from from sore muscles but I guess we'll see if I keep getting fatter it's nice. I'm starting to see more uh, coniferous trees. That's the eastern white pine. Um, no offense to the deciduous ones, but look at them. They're, they've seen better days. <laughs> but yeah, so it's starting to get a little bit more green. Henry David Thoreau says there's no greater tree. It looks like this snail died because there's no snail inside of it. And snails are born with their shells. They don't lose their shells. Their shells just grow with them. But I hope I get to see a huge snail. That would be awesome. This is the old cheese factory site. So a man named Major Edward Williams came here in 1828 from New England. And uh, he befriended a dairy guy. Uh, I think his name was Joseph Hubbard. And, you know, about 20 years after he moved here, he ended up setting up a dairy up here. So they said, even at the time, it was the only, you know, major cheese and butter operate butter operation in Georgia. <laughs> Sorry, there's so many mosquitoes, I'm getting distracted. But um, yeah, they said that it was only accessible up here by a um, mule or a well-trained horse, is what they said. And at the time, they said you could hear the bells on hundreds of cows up here, which I can't even imagine. But um, they said instead of grass, the cows fed on weeds up here, mountain weeds. So I'm really curious to see, or I'm curious what the cheese would have tasted like, what kind of cheese they made. And just another fun fact for you. Did you know that the government is storing 1.4 billion pounds of cheese in caves in Missouri? How old that must be. I wonder. Maybe. Alright guys, so I'm on top of Trey Mountain, which is actually thought to be um, Trail Mountain, like a they actually mispronounce it or something, because there's so many trails that lead up to the top apparently. But anyways, down here, um, 
is the Nakuchi Valley, about seven miles south of here, maybe right that area right there. And in 1828, a man named Frank Logan was out deer hunting when he found two gold nuggets in the Nakuchi River. And apparently Frank went and told everybody about it because it sparked this huge gold rush. So it was actually the first gold rush. Um, oh my gosh, these bugs are loving me today. Um, but it actually predated um, the California gold rush by maybe like two decades. But anyways, um, it's one of the biggest events that really sparked the Trail of Tears a couple years later um, when all these prospectors came out here and started displacing um, the Cherokee people. All right, I'm gonna keep going. These bugs are getting me. This is quite the climb, but I'm doing good. <laughs>